people in this room today, whether it was first service or now in this service, Ryan, I can't change. I can't stop sinning. I'm so entangled in that sin or any sin. I don't know what to do. I, I know what to do. It's run to Jesus Christ. Because you're right. You can't stop sinning without him. And maybe the church has made him so approachable because we've been so hard on this one sin or certain sins that we think we can never be washed clean or forgiven, but the truth is you can. Run to Jesus. You can't do what's right and holy without the Holy Spirit in you. And I'm gonna talk more about that next week. We need the Holy Spirit to change our desires and our minds and renew them and live the Christian life. Here, here's what we tend to do. This will be on the screen for you. We tend to focus on the obvious sin, but miss the greatest issue of all, our lack of belief in worship of God. So as a Christian, if you're struggling with this lifestyle or any kind of sin, uh, what I would ask you is, are you worshiping God or are you worshiping yourself? Are you doing what God wants you to do or are you doing what you want to do? Why? What's the scripture basis for this? John 16, 9, the world's sin is that it refuses to believe in me. That's a, that is the worst sin of all. Unbelief, refusing to believe in Christ, rejecting God. We need to get that right. Okay, because look what the next verse says. The next scripture says, they traded the truth about God for a lie, so they worshiped and served things God created instead of the creator himself. So when I help people struggling with homosexuality or any other kind of uh, sin or lifestyle, I don't go, let's get you to stop doing that. I don't do that. That's just like telling someone to change their clothes real quick. That's on the outside. What I do is I help them get to know God. Trust in Jesus Christ. Believe in what he has done for them. Let them see how, hey, this is what the Bible says about these things. Someone asked me in the first, after the first service, Ryan, what do you do? What do you do for, like, to help someone who, thinks, who believes they're a Christian but practices this lifestyle? I, I don't focus on that lifestyle or that sin. I focus on whether they're worshiping God or not because obviously that's where we got it all wrong. When we reject God and his word, we're gonna start doing anything we want. Am I right or am I wrong? Wait a minute, Ryan. Aren't you supposed to call them to repentance? Aren't you know, turn away from their sins? Yes, but turn to what after that? Turn to God. Or turn to God and let him begin to convict and correct their hearts themselves. Let God work on them. I can't force anyone to follow Jesus. I can't persuade anyone. They need God's help to do it. Am I talking to someone today? You remember your salvation story? Amen.